Welcome back, everybody. Ready for the cross-examination? No. <laughs> well, you better be, because we're about to do it. Okay. He was, he was going door-to-door -door selling subscriptions when he saw a man fleeing an apartment. Thought he must have been in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. I looked inside the apartment. Okay. And then I gotta check my stuff afterwards, right? So, you can actually check it at any time during this. Oh, I can? Okay. And, okay, so, Cindy's so autopsy. You... Yeah. Time of death was from 4 to 5 p.m. Statue. Okay. Electricity to Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. Let me... What about the press? What's the... El... Oh, what is that? Okay, I'm learning this as I go. Here we go. No, take your time. Okay. That's this is a what... tutorial stage, pretty much. Okay. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. <clears throat> That's the bullshit right there. That's yeah. the bullshit. Because it says right here, uh, time of death, 4 to 5 p.m. Present it. So how do I present it? Do I press L again? X. 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 X? Okay. So let me go back and... Oh, there we go. That feels good. <clears throat> so it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at sometime after 4 p.m. There is nobody to... Er... No body to find at 1 p.m. Oh my god. Good one, Phoenix. <laughs> How do you explain this three-hour gap? Oh! Oh my god, Benson. He's like, oh no! He's like, oh... Uh, mm. That, oh my god, that is sweat profusely dripping down from it. How is his suit not stained? I, I I would love that if like they ever like did like a 3D remake. Well, I think and they I think there is a Phoenix Wright movie. Oh, there is. Oh my god. There is there's one in um there was one in Japan and then there's a Phoenix Wright anime. I have not seen the anime yet, so Neither I'm... have I, but it looks good. That does sound good. Okay. Oh, that. Oh, uh. Er. Oh, the way he screams it. I know, right? Your Honor, this is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sot? Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. <laughs> yeah, because you're bullshitting me. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. You tell them, Mia. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Nice. We got the, oh. Oh, here we go. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? <sighs> go ahead. Do it again. I dare you. The time of discovery. You find those contradictions? What? I'm going to find the shit out of those contradictions. Oh, we're going to find the shit out of them. That's for sure. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, you're full of shit. That's full of shit. Oh, three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. Bro, can I can I present the footage, like the stuff now or? Not yet. Okay. You have to finish this one, and okay. then you can. Okay. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. God, I, I don't even know why I didn't play this game even more because i played it a little bit ages ago but 
This is so fucking fun. I bought this on my Switch, and I, I like, I haven't played it in a little bit, but I it's blast. This game's a blast. So much fun. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Uh, are we now, sir? Hmm, I see. And you heard a voice saying the time on a tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Oh, we're going to break his hands. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. All right. Here we go. Heard the time. There was a voice saying it. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape pro... Let me present to you, good sir. The electricity was out from noon to 6 p.m., my good friend. Present it. There we go. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said that there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Oh. Hm. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. I, I love yeah. the, I love the split, little toupee, yeah. The and the split second face of horror, like oh. I well The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I find it quite puzzling myself, quite. She must have been suffering from a poltergeist. <laughs> haunting a haunting yeah we for those of you uh we were watching connor's been doing a whole every night there's a hollow a horror movie in our discord server with our friends and but uh the time of the recording last night was poltergeist and it was super fucking fun and if you've seen poltergeist obviously you know that like there's ghosts in the tv like that that sort of thing so that's where we can, that's yeah the fun of that. and, the go and like getting sucked into the tv Oh yeah! Imagine the end of this trial. The judge is like, "Mr. Sawit, I hear I by you to thirteen years in the television." <laughs> what? And the poltergeist just the beast just grabs him and pulls him in. That would be terrifying. Yeah, actually, that kind of would be. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. <laughs> no, wait! I remember now. Do you, <laughs> Mr. Sawit? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, that, and you seem rather distraught. Uh. Exclamation mark. <laughs> My apologies, your honor. It, er, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sart. Oh, we just got uh, out here for me, guys. Uh, it just got dark and it's raining and winding out just as it started getting intense. What perfect timing. <coughs> Mother Nature set in the mood for us. Uh, all you come. Oh, uh, let's hear your testimony once more, please. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm ready. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Uh, okay, buddy, hold on a second. That must have been what I saw. It's time for you to call out bullshit, Mr. Wright. But that's... You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Oh, this is fucking great. Okay. Yeah, you didn't hear it or see it, buddy. A clock? Please. The murder weapon was... Mr. Thinker! Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. 
Now how is supposed to be a clock? What? You with your objections and your evidence, just who do you think you are? I am Phoenix Wright. Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I... I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may? Oh, yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. You have any problems with this testimony now? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yes, you do. I do? I definitely should. Yes, yes. you do. I'm okay. I'm gonna help you out here. Yes, you do. There's a gaping hole in the witness. I, I, am, I was leaning towards yes anyways, because I figured that's how it goes for the tutorial. Yes, Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the t witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm a little a slow on reading these. It's okay. It's like down it's downpouring down here, so like I'm distracted as well. It just got fucking crazy out here. Yeah. I'm getting all the rain over here too. Yeah, oh, we're getting complete downpours right now. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you're the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Uh, Order in the court. Uh, the case of justice with a side of fries, please. <laughs> He's just hungry the entire time. Well, I mean, he does have his TV dinner on his mind, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. Oh shit, it is fucking crazy out. We, this yeah, might this might be the- It's actually gotten worse over here. Yeah, it, dude, the cords are blowing over here outside, so- And I have bushes. We might have to end this episode sooner than usual, because I don't know if I'm actually going to lose power or not. It's getting serious. That's so, not good. So let's end this case really quick and whoop his fucking ass. That's why you were so certain about the time. Wh wh what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> yeah, shitballs. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? That's all you. Uh, oh, sorry. No, I'm, it's okay. The rain got crazy over that's, here. And that's I'm, what I'm saying. It's getting crazy over here, too. So we're <laughs> we're going to try to wrap this case up quick before we we find ourselves floating around. I, I, that, that day, I, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard. No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. It was him, I tell you, I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn. Give him death. My God, he's red now. He is. Order, order in the court, I say. Your, your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. You claim the sound of the witness came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? 
The whole case is writing on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Y your Honor, the sound Mr. Saw had heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply examine the clock's batteries. It has to be the batteries, right? Try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm, the battery thing showed up. It has to be. All you have to do is examine the batteries. Oh, mm, the batteries are in the right way. The clock seems to be working fine. What exactly did you mean, Mr. Wright? That the clock was working fine. Yes, and... Hmm. I think I got confused back there with all his testimonies. Okay. It's all right. I expect more from a lawyer in this court, even if it is your first day. Okay, <laughs> shit. I'm afraid I'll have to penalize you. Try to think things more carefully. Shit, okay. Y yes, Your Honor. As I was saying. Okay, fuck. Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's 825. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. Oh, I get that's stupid. I think it's funny. <laughs> it's funny, but it's like, it's like a goddamn it, Connor moment that we've had on the show. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time is it now? It's 11.25. Act! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow, precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, oh, he's like ready to rip his shirt off, like, yes, yeah. me, Mr. Mr. Wright, I can make it worth your time if you look the other way. Oh my god. <laughs> and the judge is like, judge is like, 25 years. Got that toothy mouth. <laughs> toothy mouth? Yeah, you know, look at all those teeth in there. They're they're not even they don't even have the ridges like their teeth. They look like fucking he put play doh in or some shit to make yeah. it look like he has teeth. Mr. Play doh mouth over here thinks that he's innocent. Yeah, well, I don't think so, buddy. Imagine he's like one of the fucking that's why he has a toupee. It's because he's a play doh dispenser, and when he puts play doh in his mouth, it it like takes out like it's a hair. <laughs> he's a play doh dispenser. <laughs> A little button on his back, he pushes it, and, <laughs> and comes out his head. And that's how he got the toupee. <laughs> <laughs> try, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh oh. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow. It's daylight savings. <laughs> Matt proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He said it. He's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. It was so close. Oh, boy. It seemed... Oh, balls. Oh, I'm sorry. I clicked wrong. Okay. No, it's okay. I'll just yeah. die alone. It's Connor! <laughs> God damn it, I'm Connor. Just being an asshole. I'm I know. It's it's all fun. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. What? This ends the cross exam examination of Mr. Frank Saw. Did I just fuck up? Well, just keep going and see. Okay. I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Here, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sod. Ooh! Mia! I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. 
But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Oh. Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right, right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Fuck, why would it actually? Did she bring the clock with her? Like, back from Paris? Let me check all the evidence. Uh, 7.31. 4 to 5 p.m. Statue of the Thinker. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7.30 the day before the murder. Oh, shit. Time of death, 7.31, 4 to 5 p.m. Cause of death, loss. Maybe there was a difference in time. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. Wait! Maybe I could prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let him have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Uh, of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words. I see you pull this one off. Okay. All right, what do you think, Benson? Well, we already did the statue. It's rather heavy. The cause of death, we already used that. And we have the electric report. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7.30, the day before the murder. So what if the statue was, a, like, something she brought back from Paris, and that's why there's a time difference? Worth a shot? I'm going to try it. I'm going to do the passport. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her head, struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit, or should I say, <laughs> Miss, <laughs> Mr. Did It, or your other name, Plato Head? <laughs> And it's then one of my favorite jokes in this game. Seriously. And Mr. fucking saw it just... he As soon as he's like, uh, Yes, I am guilty, but you can't catch me. And he takes out a thing of Plato, Plato chews it, like, pushes the button on the back of his head, and it spews out, like, Plato smoke, and he gets away. <laughs> oh, my... Oh! No, sorry. <laughs> That's some good root beer he had. Uh, order, order, I say. Hmm. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, here, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. Yeah! You did it, buddy! I did it! Woo, we did it! Let's go! No eating here tonight. Woo! Eating, eating here tonight. tonight. No, no, no eating here eating tonight. Eating here tonight. You on a diet. <laughs> 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 and Mr. with that, the court has adjourned. And, he, and he's like, finally, I can go watch the Brady Bunch. <laughs> and you, you can finally go home and eat his dinner. And he walks out of the room, and all you hear in the hallway is, "Wait, fuck! Tonight's Gilligan's Island." Oh, yeah. Gilligan's Island is good too. That's a good one. Um, no, he just doesn't like Gilligan's Island personally. He just doesn't.
He wants. How do you know? You never watch TV with him, have you? Uh, yeah. You, for all you know, he's my grandpapa. <laughs> that would be one hell of a coincidence. Or better yet, and I pull off the mask and I'm like, maybe I'm him. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You would know. If you were him, you would know. I. <laughs> Oh, this game's turned me into a lawyer right now. It's great. I'm like, no, I'm not guilty. I'm the judge. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> it turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check out and see when people were out of their house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Ooh. Here we go. Whew. I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> My life is <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's back. You're He's happy that he sick. <laughs> He's back with the fucking galaxy eyes. With the galaxy eyes. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Jesus. Good. Wait, no, I mean, er, bad. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Takes his nose and he's like, no, bad Larry. Here's some, ser melato here's some serotonin to make you happy. Bad Larry. It starts rubbing his nose in it. Rubbing his nose in what? The sadness? No, the serotonin to make him happy. Oh, he's <laughs> snorting it now. <laughs> Not, he doesn't have to snort it. Well, why is it? Never mind. <laughs> it's just a light sniff. He's just like, oh, serotonin, thank God. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Windy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... Nah, <laughs> never mind. Congratulations, Harry. <laughs> Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. Oh my god. This game is so fucking clever. I love it. And I think like I I'm wondering why they didn't call him Harry Butts, like actually. Good point, actually. <laughs> um thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My tree? Oh, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey! Oh. <laughs> Here, take this. It's a present. A present? For me? Wait, wasn't that the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. R really? You... You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you just want to cry? <laughs> Larry. Oh my god, this poor guy. Larry, please, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Larry, go home. <laughs> Larry, please, go home. You've, you've had too much to drink. Go home. Hey, go home and drink more. <laughs> get get some Budweiser, chill out, have a good day. And watch the Brady Bunch. <laughs> watch the Brady Bunch. And Are you so sure? Excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right? 
Right? Don't you have something to show your friend? <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> something that proves how she felt about him? Uh huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? What is she talking about? Uh... What do you think? Uh, that's it. The passport? No. The electricity? It's gotta be this. Is it the statue? Try it. I really don't like where this is going. Unless it was her passport. What was her name on it? Okay, no. Okay, let's try the statue. <laughs> I love to take that, and all of a sudden he just chucks it at his head. Take that! Yeah. <laughs> Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. <laughs> Hope that made him feel a little better. You know what I feel better about, though, after we finish this? We'll do this conversation, and I feel better that this episode's coming to a close soon. Yeah, me too. Let's finish this up, and so that way we don't end on a blank screen. All right. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. That's true. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. It sounds like a Christmas movie. It does. Cue the song and dance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, learn, grow strong. And it fades out and all of a sudden it's like the neon uh, Evangelion 90s anime opening. It's like bam. Oh yeah. It's like bam, 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 da, 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 da. I haven't seen that show yet. I, I heard it's really good. I haven't seen too much of it, so I can't make a judgment. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. That goes for you, Benson. That goes for Stop you too. Giving. Stop giving up like you do all the time. You too, my buddy. <laughs> Just kidding, Benson. I know. I know. I, I pulled the reverse card on you. I'm like, no, you. <laughs> Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? No thanks, I prefer the table. Oh, you meant out to dinner, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Innocent. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Y yeah. Oh, speaking of Harry. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Er, yeah. Part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? And they're, like, literally over a giant barrel of ale on Phoenix is right. So let me tell you about why Larry was part of why I became a lawyer, and they're slowly falling into the ale. <laughs> and so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave me. Uh. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise I wouldn't be able to keep. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! All right. Awesome. Brand yeah. new episode has been added. Oh, look at this anime girl with this uh, with this uh, weird looking dude. Yeah. Oh, get, like, wait till we get to it. It's it's fucking nuts. Well, you know what? I look forward to that in the next episode as we save here. Let me tell you. But uh, I think that'll wrap it up for today, guys. Uh, our next episode. But we'll see you guys next time. Connor, are you ready to end this off? I'm ready. All righty. See you, everybody. Have a good day and stay frosty. Frosty. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that's my dog. <laughs> the dog's like, Frosty! <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll see you later. Stay frosty, y'all. All right.